Well, what are we fixing today? Today, it's in the creepy basement, but it's not at the workshop. It's in the laundry room. I've done a few laundry room things before, and now there's another honeydew laundry room thing to do. Honeydew because, well, I, well, I take some of the stuff out and put some of it in the dryer, but I don't do the folding or the putting away or the sorting because that's kind of like advanced, you know, and, you know, good enough is not good enough there for the boss. So I'll do the grunt part that I can have a good enough part to do, but not the actual work. Okay. Anyway, I'll show you what's going on. And let's just go, it's, it's, it's over there. So let's go over there and let's look at that, okay? Yeah. The wet on the floor. And the wet in here. This thing fills out the water. If you look, the seal is seen better days. So we're going to change the seal out today. Here is the seal that you got us and hard to tell exactly but kind of looks like it. it has these things in here and things that do things and other things i would assume that this ring here is this ring here maybe maybe this goes back and this is that ring i don't know we're gonna figure it out I did look at one video on how to do this in general. In general, you take, you pull the plug, you loosen the top, take the top off, and then unhook the front and do some stuff. So we're gonna see what all I need to do. Let's, uh, let's start, uh, let's start taking stuff apart, huh? Let's do that. to be a couple of screws up here holding the top on. Let's get them first. Okay, let's try. This is one of those. Uh, I don't know if that the thing, but if you leave it all off, it's a quarter. And it fits fine. There's a top panel. There's a chunk of concrete. Another chunk of concrete. This must be for stabilization, I guess. Then I need to take the front panel off. Looks like a torque screw. Might be holding that. Another torque screw. I have a torque spit on here. I do. This comes out with a little push on this little lever. That's one of these torques in here. All right, that one came out. What else we got? Okay, we got screws on the bottom. Let's push this back. Let's see if we can get the screws on the bottom. Let's 
seems to have shifted. When I do that, it means the whole thing will fall on the floor and break the glass or plastic or whatever that is. So I gotta kinda hold it here, I think. I just got the feeling. Okay, it's not falling, but I don't know what it's supposed to do either. Ugh. Feels like this plastic has to come off first. Ah, I see a clip over here. Let me show you. Well, all right, let me flip you upside down and back. <laughs> this is clipped right. Plastic clip right. Right. There, at the end of the screwdriver, I think that's gotta come off. I think I can just snap that. Oh, here's a wire. Maybe I don't even have to take the wire off. Okay, that side snapped off. There's weird holes here for no reason. Which means that there has to be a snap in them. Usually what that means. Yep, betcha. Well, this will snap itself again. There's something under here yet. Oh, there's a screw right there. Okay, short little Phillips. All right, that comes off. Put this knob back on, doesn't need to be off. Just out of the way. I got some more screws. Oh, now it's falling. There's probably some wires over here. Definitely. Let's take this. We'll take that off. Those are T with some washers on it. Okay, that's out of the way. Now this should looks like it should come off. So let's pop it off of here. Maybe. There we go. Looks like there's some kind of a wire in there. Oh, there's a wire around it. This must be the retaining wire. Okay. And it comes off easy. That's that part. So this wire was around here in this lip. That was kind of holding it all together. I bet there's another wire. Oh, 
around here. But to the wrist. Right, right there, I bet you. Yep. So the trick is to deal with the wire. Okay, got that down enough. Pull it out, and I gotta get that wire out of there. So let's clean this up a little bit. Shout it out. Let's just do this first. Words at the bottom. I think pushing from the outside and popping the inside in is working. Not bad, maybe. I wonder if the old trick of putting a string in there and then pulling the string out would work. Like you do for windshields. I bet you that would work. This is going, but it's not going great. I don't know, I'm thinking maybe. Tighten it some more. Somebody's rocking the speakers. Okay. Yeah. That's where it belongs. I think that's like as tight as it was. It was about a half inch there. Check it all the way around. Looks okay. That thing is in the bottom. And all the way around, we have stuff, so. I think we're looking good there. I bet you I can put this on and then do this. That's what we're going to try. All right, so now I just kind of uh, hung this up here with a screw. Pretty precarious. But I want to get the uh, electrical put back in. I just got them kind of started so they're loose. So I have to take them off I can. To get the outside ring on. Now it looks like it kind of goes. Alright, see, this is the 
place where the spring clip clamp clumper wire thingy rides. So if we get these this looks like it is where it wants to be right there. Side. And that needs to be on the inside. Kind of feels like it's where it belongs all the way around. Well, let's put this in here. Here's my trick again, maybe. There. I got a little something something going on here that I don't like. There. That feels good. So does it look like it seals when I close the door? Ooh, it feels like it seals. And the door opens. All right. So now it's just putting it all back together. This needs some leveling. Thank you. 
This would be better with some Croil or Blaster, but I'll start with WD-40. That one too. This is froze. I got to move a little. And broke it off. So, this one's gonna need a wood block. This wheel broke off. Let this out. Lift this up just a bit. Set this down there. It's not. It's not. Too bad here, it's let's go up a little bit. So it's it's down just a little. Let's drill a hole in here and put a bolt. And I don't think it's going anywhere after that. It has to move this around. I think that's what she was complaining about. So let's set up for that. Okay. Build a hole up through the bottom, through this wood, through the base of the washing machine, and right up there. Remember when I said one way or the other? That's what I meant. I gotta get this tight. That's tight. So now I basically screwed the wash machine through this chunk of wood because his wheel is gone to this block down here. Now that means that they probably can't separate. If they can't separate, I'm going to put a piece of board across there. So that should hold it down to the thing. And it's not quite level, but it's almost level. It's about, I think the dryer is level and this isn't. So that's how far off it is. So maybe not as much water will come poured out the front when it runs. And the seal is new. So I would call that a good enough. Here's what the seal looks like inside. And when I was taking this apart, Um, so the top had to come off, three screws in the back, but there were four screws, or two screws here, two screws here that held on some plastic and stuff on the front. That did not have to come off. I had to take off a screw in this hole and a screw in the middle back here behind the drawer. And I had to take a clip off of here. And then this plastic control panel came off. I gotta take that and move it to the side. 
And then you can get out the four screws. One, two, three, four, to bring the front off. The rubber rings have this, you see it? Have a wire clamp. This one is springed. The inside one, same kind of thing, except there's a uh, screw on it to tighten it. That's how you take it off. That's the tricks. Well, it's some time later. Turns out I did the exit for this video, and instead of turning the camera on, I turned it off. Because all I had was pictures of that after I got done and turned the camera off and said, okay, never mind. It's my video for today. Um, the wash machine, since it's been a little bit later, she's done a few loads of wash. It's worked really well. Hasn't leaked a bit. Okay, so give me a thumbs up if you like that. If you like this kind of content, let me know. Uh, if you have some wash machines and had some trouble with the seal, then, you know, this is how you do it. Subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. Got any suggestions for other videos, let me know. I will see you next time. I think oh, next video is fun. I filmed it already. It's very explosive. So pretty sure that's the one that's next. <laughs> Otherwise it's the one after that. But yeah, we're going to have some fun blowing things up somewhere. All right. Till the next time. Don't drop your clothes on the floor. Bye.